Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohamed Ali and in the next video tutorial we have cleared this second form and now we will uh, display all the data from our form 1 here on the second form which is the booking summary okay and it is by the name form 2. So uh, in the previous tutorial as you know that we have already get the data from all the controllers and we have stored it inside this uh, static variables which we created here. So what I'm going to do is first of all let's quickly add uh, the labels here so that we can display our data here on these uh, on this second form basically. So let's add here the first label or instead of that we have also apply some properties on these okay so copy this and paste that here. And now what we are gonna do is here we can say congratulations you have booked a ticket please check mail and confirm you can write any message you want to display to the user okay i will just display this message here at the top now uh, let's copy paste this and here we can uh, display the name so what i'm going to do is first of all uh, from here we can give it a complete name that is full name so the second thing is the departure uh, departure city that is from which city the user will go so let's copy paste this for that and also we have to uh, display the data in front of it so change this to departure city and then we can simply copy paste this this will be for the destination city that is to which place the user is going and then we can copy paste this for the trip dates So let's copy paste that at one time. Okay. So that we can change it for all the fields remaining. So the fourth one is the trip date. So we can say trip dates. And then we have to display the uh, password number or ID card number. So change this text to document number. then the document expiry date and then the weight of baggage so for that let's copy paste this once more time so change the text for this expiry date to baggage uh, wet so we don't need to give it I mean to change the text for these fields all you gonna need is to give it proper names okay because on uh, we have uh, to set the values of these labels whenever this form load that is when a user come from from 1 to from 2 so let's give it some proper name quickly so the first one is LBL full name so we can say full name then this is will be LBL departure city then destination so we can say LBL destination then we have trip dates so we can say LBL trip dates then document number so we can say give it a name as LBL document number then expiry date so we can say lbl expiry date then the last one which is the baggage so we can say lbl baggage wet so yeah that's it 
and we have to change this text for the document number that is let's say if the user click on passport then it we will display here at, as like passport number and passport expiry date so we have to give it proper uh, names to it also so for that i can simply uh, give it a label that is lbl let's say change document lbl change document and this one will be lbl change expiry date so yeah that's it and now we need a button here which will be the done button so whenever the user click on that button then we should uh, close this form so let's add that here and the text for this button will be done and bold 16 and let's change the color of this buttons to any color you want I will change it to this one and the name of this button will be LBL done so yeah that's it now we will uh, double click on this form and it will create this form to underscore load event handler and once this form is loaded then we will display all the data here so for the full name uh, what we are gonna do is we can simply say lbl full name dot text so we are getting the text of that and we have to display it now let me tell you basically we are accessing our this level which is this one okay and we are this uh, we will display the data from the form one uh, here okay so as you know that uh, we have stored the data inside this variable uh, if I show you which is our form one which is this first name and last name so we have to access these variables here on our uh, so for that I can simply type form one which is the name of our first form dot and here you can see I have now access to that variables so use concatenation and then let's give it some space between the first name and last name and then we can display the uh, last name by using form one dot last name and then uh, we have the departure city and the id for this is lbl departure city so first we have to do it the same like here that is we will access this controller first here so we can say lbl departure city so we have to display the departure city here from the first form which is form one so it is stored inside the variable departure let me check the variable name and it is by the name two okay to and from so from is basically the departure that is from where we are going to uh, where we want from which city uh, we will start our tra traveling okay so we can press that here and after that we have the destination city where we want to go so I can simply say lbl destination dot text and it is by the name two on our first form then we have to display the trip dates which is uh, this one okay here so it is stored inside this uh, if I show you it is stored inside these two variable the start trip, uh, trip date and the end trip date which is the range first value and the range uh, last value so here we can just copy paste this and here we can say lbl trip dates okay and we will display it on the same text so here we can say start trip date and then some space if you want to give and here we can say two and now we have to display the uh, end date by using form one dot and trip date then we have to uh, display the document number and the label the name for this is lbl document number and let me confirm first what is the id of that it is by the name 
LBL document number form one dot document number then we have a label expiry date dot text and from the form one we are going to get the value of expiry date and the last thing which is left is the wet baggage so let's copy paste this here and uh, change this to lb wet baggage dot text from the form one it is by the name wet baggage and we have to uh, get this uh, value of this boolean which is for the passport and id card so we have to check if the passport is selected or the id card then in that case we have to change this document number and that document expiry date accordingly so to do that here inside uh, above we can simply say if and by using the form one as it is on the form one it is by the name passport so if this is true then we are going to change the text for this document number and the uh, uh, name for this is lbl change document so here we can say lbl change document dot text and the text for this will be now in case of password we can passport we can say passport number and also we have to change the text for this uh, document expiry date to passport expiry date so the name for this is lbl change expiry date so we can say lbl change expiry date dot text equals to and here we can say passport x date and the same we will do for the id card number so let's copy paste this here and change this passport to id card and this one to id card number and also this to id card expiry date so yeah that's it and the last thing which is left is double click on this done button so if a user click on that it should close the whole app so we can say application dot exit exit and this will close the application so yeah that's it and now uh, go to the form one dot cs and here when we say that is uh, in our check chain uh, which is rdb id card so if this is true then we uh, make this id cards to true and then in the else statement we can simply write here id card equals to false so make sure to change this to false here and the same we will do for the passport which is here okay rdb passport check chain so paste that here and make sure to change this to passport so yeah that's it now let's run the app so our app is running now successfully and let choose any city here so california from from islamabad and then uh, you can choose the trip dates so starting date will be 26 september and october 5 is the trip and date and then uh, first name let's uh, write my name which is mohammed ali and then passport or id card okay so i will choose passport then any number you want to type for the passport from 27th and expiry date must be in november 30th and then baggage and let's click here and here we go here you can see that full name muhammad ali departure city islamabad destination california trip dates is from 26th september to 5th october passport number expiry date and the baggage date. so yeah i mean this is amazing if i click on done then the application close so yeah that's it for this video and see you guys in the next video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe thumbs up for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now